what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Travis and in today's video what I'm going to be showing you how to do is to install a float safety switch on a drain pan we have a customer that had a drain issue because their drain pan did not have a float switch installed on it actually overflowed the drain pan and leaked onto the ceiling so I'm going to be showing you how to install a float switch so that doesn't happen to you so I'll see you at the customer's house okay we're up in the attic and this is our float switch that we're going to be putting on the drain pan. Okay, I took it out of the package. And what this does is this, this opens up on the side. You can screw that out. That will mount to the side of your drain pan. And this part here will stick down into the drain pan itself. And what this has is a little sensor inside. It's like a little float switch type of deal. Well, that's why it's got a float switch. But it's got a little floater in here that if your drain starts to rise, it will actually open up a set of contacts and turn the power off to your, your air conditioner. So let's go ahead and get to installing this thing. Now this drain pan still has some water left in the drain pan itself from last time we were here. Where you want to install your float switch is the lowest, because a lot of times these attics, these older attics, they not be, may not be exactly level. So if that's the case, you want to install the float switch in the lowest part of the drain. And I know the customer had an issue with it leaking on this side of, of our drain pan. So we're going, to, we're going to install that float switch here. So let's go ahead and get that installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up my little connections here. And what this does is it slides right over our drain pan. Sit it down as far in that drain pan as possible. And we're going to tighten down these, these screws. Alright, we got our drain, our float switch secure. Now what we want to do is find our thermostat wire. And we're going to, I'm going to show you the connections because this float switch comes with two wires on it. I'm going to show you where to connect these up at to open up a switch and cause the air conditioner to turn off and to let you know that there's a problem. So let's take the, the panel off here for, for our air handler. Okay, I took a red wire. I run it up through the top of the air handler, run our wires down. Now where you want to, there's two places you can hook this float switch. I prefer to break my main power to the air conditioner itself. Some people like to use the yellow wire, which goes outside and just turns the outside unit off. I prefer to go with the, the power wire because that'll actually cut power to the thermostat and sooner let the customer know that there's a problem. So where we want to hook this up at is we want to take where it comes in from the transformer to where it feeds power to our thermostat which is going to be right here at this, this red connection. We want to take this off. We want to take one of our wires from our transformer and hook it to that red wire coming in. Okay, we got that wire hooked up and this is hard to do uh, with one hand holding this camera. Now our second wire from our from our float switch we want to hook it back to where that power wire was plugged in so let's do that all right now we've got the float switch hooked and you will need an extra wire nut for that that's basically it to installing a float switch so basically what we need to do is just pop our panel back on and replace power all right well we just installed a float switch pretty simple enough um, not anything hard about it at all it's just two wires you break power that turns the the air conditioner off to let you know there's a problem if you have a attic upstairs I mean this is a pretty cheap and easy fix and the little bit of money that it costs you to put that float switch in it will save you hundreds of dollars in repairs if ever your furnace or your, your air conditioner upstairs leaks, prevents and saves that ceiling. So, we got that float switch installed. Like I say, pretty straightforward and nothing hard about it at all. If you've never seen a float switch or knew what it is, hope you understand it a little bit more, know how to put it in, and actually know how to wire it up. So, guys, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And I will see you on that next service call. Bye, guys.